Okay, uh, so my name is Cheng Yu. I'm a faculty in chemistry department at RPI. I'm going to uh, solve some practice problem uh, using the previous exam, and this is an exam one on chemistry one, one zero zero, uh, and given in the spring semester. And so this one help you to solve more practice problem over and over, and let's get started. So uh, the first problem is, which of the visible colors of the light has the longest wavelength of the light? And you already know from the rainbow color, so there's a spectrum of the, uh, the light in the visible spectrum. And the following images is taken out from the, the web, web resources. And we know that uh, the wavelengths of the light using what we call the symbol lambda, and the lambda is shown in the spectrum down here. The longest wavelength is the red, the shorter wavelength is uh, blue, and this is actually violet. So you might heard about UV means ultraviolet, IR means infrared. So the violet to the red is a spectrum of the light, violet, and the blue being the shortest wavelengths. That's about, for the blue, is about, I would say, 400 nanometer, and the red is about 800 nanometer. So, roughly speaking, this is about half a micron for the visible light. At any rate, the, the number one answer, the longest wavelength answer is red. Okay, so second problem is, what is the total energy contained one moles of photon with a frequency of certain um, value? So the frequency in our notation, we are using the symbol nu. Okay, so the frequency is given, and this, the question about this is mainly concerned about how much do you understand the energy equation for the photon. Photon energy equation is, you might be familiar with, H equals H nu, and this is an energy for one photon. So this, I would say, this is a per one photon. As a di difference is, there is a, another equation variation, which is H nu times what we call the Avogadro's number. And this is a case, this is an energy per one mole of photon. photon. So <clears throat> this question is asking about one mole of photon. What is the energy of of a, of this? So it will be E will be using Planck constant six point six three and to the minus thirty four and frequency two point seven five ten to the fourteen. And then Avogadro's number, which is a 6.02 to the 23. So it's a pretty, pretty long calculation, and the easiest way that I would like to is combine this, what I call the numeric part. And then the, the power portion, minus 34 plus 14. 23. So if you do them all together, you will get the number looks like 1.10 1 10 to the 5 joule. And what that means is uh, this is a per mole. Okay, so this is energy per mole. So now I have this answer. But if you look at the multiple choices, uh, the answer is given in the kilojoule. So the kilojoule is 10 to the 3 joule. I think the, all of you know this. So I'm going to rearrange my equation. The second. So therefore, it's a 110 kilojoule. So therefore, this is my answer for the second problem. Okay, so this is a third problem, and uh, they are asking you the combined concepts. 
So they are asking what is the shortest frequency of the light of the photon to remove an electron from a metal sample and if the binding energy of this metal is 3.14 to the 10 to 3 kilojoule per mole. So this uh, concept is first thing to deal with is the binding energy. And so let me explain it to you. So binding energy is coming from uh, the fact that electrons are being bound to the nuclei and so that there is an energy for the take the nuclei out of the take the electrons out of the surface and people draw this kind of energy diagram this is an energy and this uh, energy in the zero state and typically energy levels of electron is lower than zero so they are being bound to the nuclei so this is where the electrons are located and uh, uh, that's in the negative state of the electrons and uh, now you have the case where now you let's say you shine the light onto this metal and say I'm going to draw the photon on the side as a, this is a photon with an energy of h nu and that goes in and hit the electrons and this electron trying to escape out of there right? and if they can ex escape out and uh, from this zero energy level and that energy of zero energy level is what we call this the vacuum state so the energy above the vacuum level is called kinetic energy and energy below the vacuum level down to the energy of the bound electron and typically this is what we call the ionization energy or binding energy so in that case the scenario typical equation we people write is when you shine the light this is the energy that you put it into the metal that can be consumed to take the electron out of the surface that's an ionization energy plus the kinetic energy what is left over and the energy uh, for moving the electrons around and also uh, because we are using the binding energy here so we can just using the different term for the same concept that we do so energy was put it in in the form of a light just like a solar how the solar cell work when the light hits to the surface the electron with a certain energy start to move out of the boundary state and that's the one we are going to use for the electricity so this is a basic principle and so now we are that's the first thing is the this concept about the binding energy and what about the second one and this is a question that what will be the shortest frequency of the light to remove the electron? In that case, I'm shining the light with that certain frequency. That energy will be used to just to take the electron out of the surface. And then uh, that's a, there will be extra energy will be kinetic energy, but the question is shortest frequency. That means the smallest energy possible. So therefore, this is an equation that we are looking for. And there's a, a little uh, tricky part in understanding this. The answer was given in a form of per mole basis. And this one itself is actually energy, I would say energy per one photon. So therefore, this equation to have this unit match you should re rewrite this equation as Navogadro's number of h nu as uh, energy for one moles of photon will be same as the binding energy. And so therefore, the frequency, the smallest frequency, will be the binding energy, which is given 3.14 to the 10 to the 3 and kilojoule I want to convert it into joule and Avogadro's number 6.02 10 to the 23 and H is 6.63 to the 10 to the minus 34 so if you put everything together uh, and the f like 
I did like I like to do is uh, you I want to put this 3.14 6.02 6.03 and do the power which is uh, that's a 6 in the beginning and the minus 23 plus 34 and then you plug in this uh, numbers in the equation and that that you will get uh, 7.87 so 15 hertz okay so then 7.87 15 hertz so answer is D for you